Good day and hello, my name is Brian. This is part two of Tools of Thought. And these tools pretty much describe uh, an easy way to picture how to view things or an idea of a lens. And that leads into, of course, the first tool, number four, encirclement. Whenever you use a lens or and I'll use that term again, actually, before I actually wander into it, is, again, the word encirclement. Now, this tool is you. the way I use it is sort of the image of whenever you do use, like, a lens, a telescope, a microscope, or even a pair of glasses or something, within the view that you use, you encircle that uh, image of whatever you're looking at. Um, and that helps, you know, focus down on what you actually want to look at. So it's a very straightforward thing. The idea, of course, is what you want to look at, you try to fit it inside that view of the lens. And so everything inside that view is what you're looking at. One way to think about it is, of course, the idea of, like, borders. Everything within the border of the United States is the United States. So the United States is encircled by a border. And so you can look at it that way very easily. And that was number four, encirclement. Number five is scale. Now, this also works into the lens idea in some ways, because the idea of a microscope is, of course, to view things in a small scale, versus a telescope, which is to view things on a large scale. And, of course, even on a close scale, for people who actually wear glasses, such as I do, is, of course, to view things in a local area. And all it really is is a difference in scale. And you can do that also from something very small, working up to something, you know, middle range, up to something very large. Or the same thing with close to far. And scales are very useful in a lot of different ways. Uh, I do mention a later tool in one of my other pieces, called, which I just labeled a useful scale, which deals with uh, the scale of loosely the idea of possibilities in some ways. In that case, that scale starts with the idea of what is possible then works down to what is probable, what is likely, what is available, and then is it whether it is effective, and then whether or not is it, is it efficient. And that itself is also a scale. And that is number five, scale. Number six is extrapolation. Now, that sort of combines, again, extrapolation combines both the first uh, number four and five encirclement and scale. Because the idea with this one is that's actually how it works. Is you take this little thing and then from there it, it extrapolates outwards to see it in a different view, a different perspective. And it's a very useful tool in a lot of different ways. And it's a good way to actually remember the first two tools without having to remember them specifically. And extrapolation has a lot of interesting things. I mean, that's how you figure out things. That's how you work through problems. Um, it's also how a lot of people actually do different variations in stories and stuff, is they'll extrapolate a certain scenario in a certain way, and then from there, you get to see how the story develops around it. All right, num tool number seven is flip. Now, like most... Uh, telescopes or microscopes, they don't work very well when you flip them. But the idea is what, uh, we're working with the idea here, not necessarily the full technique of it, is, of course, look from the other end. How does it view from that end when you flip it? I mean, you look at the problem from this direction, well, how does it look from the other direction, approaching from where the problem might be? Like, if you actually talk to someone, well, what do they see when you're talking to them? How are you approaching them? What's your body language when you actually talk to them? Not just what you see them doing to you, but what are you doing to them? You know, are you approaching them in anger? So how would they receive that? Well, again, it's just by flipping it and then looking at it from that direction. How would you react to someone approaching you in anger? And it's a very simple tool. And, of course, that still works very well with the lenses. And there you go, four more tools. And they all can be summed up with the idea of a lens whether it be a microscope, a pair of glasses, or a telescope. I hope you have a beautiful day.